what's going on guys tony here back again with another awesome video for you guys and i had to go do it man i just been seeing too many youtube videos as far as the iphone se third generation the 2022 model which is this one i have right here i just picked it up me about 20 minutes ago from best buy and i want to get some hands on because if you guys remember i had the iphone se second generation and I love that one. I just, it, it's just uh, so refreshing to step back to that smaller form factor with that unique, iconic home button, which my wife, as a matter of fact, uh, when she got the iPhone 11, just hated face unlock. She just couldn't adapt to it. She just hated it. She wanted the home button. That was one of her biggest complaints when she moved from the iPhone, I believe it was the 6, to the 11. It was a huge step up, I know, but one of her biggest gripes was that home button. She really did miss that home button. She did not like that you have to swipe up to, to get into the face unlock and whatnot. So she that was one of her main things. As to me, well, I know I like the home button, Touch ID, and uh, the smaller form factor is easier in the pocket. So this is the 64 gig product red that i got from best buy it is t-mobile lock version so i'm gonna have it on t-mobile i got my sim card ready to go and all that and i'm gonna test it out because uh shout out to tech odyssey the battery is much improved so i that's one of that was like the main issue with the iphone se second generation was the battery uh would not last me it was good, but it was like, it was not that good. So um, the bump up in battery and the newer processor is definitely gonna help this phone out as far as making it last all day. So I'm gonna go ahead and downgrade, if people see it that way, from the iPhone, from the iPhone 13 Pro Max down to the SE, uh, third generation because I got I got to try this phone out. This is one of my uh, iconic phones as far as the form factor. I know it's played out design, but when you step down from a big old heavy phone like this down to this one, I think my biggest complaint is going to be the screen size because I'm used to the bigger screen and uh, maybe the chin and forehead is probably going to be my uh, biggest biggest uh, gripes with this phone. Battery life may be okay because I average maybe about uh, three and a half to four hours of on-screen time with the big boy. Even though I don't kill it in one day, I always come home with like 70 or 80 percent. So I know this will this will be okay with that. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll do fine with the battery. And I think just the chin and the forehead may be my biggest gripe with this phone. As far as performance from what I've been seeing and hearing... It's very, very close or on par to the 13 Pro Max. So, yeah, so I'm happy. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing. I'm going to set it all up and pull this tab. Get the pull tab ready here. Took that off. Do a quick unboxing. I'm going to set it up. I already got my SE. Oh, not my SE. My Oh, my God, I'm already calling it the SE. I already have my 13 Pro Max um, backing up to iCloud, so should be almost done there. And then I'll have this set up. Uh, let me see. Wow, it does look nice. It is very light. What we get in here is the basics. We got this uh, plastic film all the way. Take that off. Very nice foam. It's pretty light man it's gonna be fun to carry this around it's very light and then we get the usual suspects in here uh, we got the charging cable which I think I if I remember correctly on the SE second generation it was lightning to USB type A but in this one we're going to, to lightning to USB type C so yeah so they did that, and then we got uh, these designed by Apple in California. We got the manuals and whatnot, product red, 
And then we got some, I guess it's like some, here's partnership. I have never read, this is my first, it's gonna be my first project, product red. Um, phone here, and you can see there it's supporting uh, AIDS awareness and whatnot. So yeah, and then we got the little pin to ejection tool and Apple sticker. That's all we get in this little tiny package and product red. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. This is just a little unboxing. I'm probably gonna add to this video once I get it all set up. But uh, for right now, I'm going to stop the video and wait until my backup is complete so I can add on to the video. So I think it says 24 minutes. We'll see how long that takes. It's faster than that, but it just says 24 minutes to uh, I back this up. All right, so while my phone is still doing the backup, I am going to insert my brand new primary SIM card into this phone. And we are gonna power it on. See if we got some juice. And that is that. So yeah, my main T-Mobile SIM is in here. So uh, I'm not gonna be using the, the iPhone 13 Pro Max at all. I'll probably leave that at home. I'm just gonna take one phone, one phone, which is going to be this one to use it throughout the whole day. And then the other phone, which is going to be the one that's recording this video, I'm gonna use that to record my day as I go about um, as far as my uh, battery life goes and all that good stuff. So let me package this back up. My phone is still backing up over here, it's taking forever. The first, oh man, that button, that iconic button. Uh, look at that, this popped up. So it's telling me to continue with my iCloud. And I gotta, where am I? Oh, scan it, boom. And now it's gonna finish setup on the iPhone. I'm gonna enter. It says it's protected, I'm gonna enter my password. And it is setting up my iPhone that easy. And I still got this pop-up on, on my, my iPhone 13 Pro Max. So it's gonna take a few minutes. It looks like it has about 75% or a little more battery life. Uh, finishing a new iPhone. So yeah, I got it. Uh, it should. I have a new SIM card. It came with a new SIM card, a free T-Mobile SIM card. We're gonna go ahead and set this up. Uh, we're going to use your fingerprint. Yes. Oh man, I feel the little vibrations on here. Are really really good. Oh, this has to be like the best fingerprint ever. It says adjust your grip. This is how I normally would be doing it. It's a very strong vibration. The haptics on here, amazing. So it says touch ID is ready. Uh, your print can be used for unlocking your phone. Continue. I can always add my other thumb later. Let's check that out. It says I, I can use an eSIM on T-Mobile now. And then I can just eject my SIM card that's in there if it's an eSIM and I could probably even use a different SIM card. I'm not sure if this is an unlock phone or what. And then it says we got this one here. This pop-up comes up after that. The, my uh, 13 is still saying the same thing. It's still on, it's still on this um, lock screen here but let me go ahead and prop it up so we can keep that in focus and we'll go through the setup. This is pretty nice. Uh, transferring data from Tony's iPhone 13 Pro Max. Continue. Terms and conditions, agree, agree. It says make this your new phone. Connections, connections, Apple Watch. Let me get into that one. Uh, here's everything set up as you had it on your other phone. Okay, continue. 
FaceTime and iMessage. Continue. Siri, continue. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose. Hey Siri is ready. Siri will recognize your voice whenever you say hey Siri. Press and hold. Okay. Okay. It's telling me to download the latest. So that's gonna take a while. Oh, 28 seconds. So this is probably gonna ask me to reboot or whatnot, but yeah, so far I'm digging the phone. I got my new SIM card in and I'm definitely going to drop this into a case a immediately. So this is the red case from Subcase, which I really like. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this one on. Okay, I feel like I appreciate that one he sent. So it's in there, boom. And let me flip the bottom. What was I saying? I appreciate when these companies stand out cases because uh, it saves us some money. We don't have to go out and buy this phone, even though I went out and bought it anyways. But yeah. All right, guys, I am back. I did the backup on here and I'm kind of at 46% because I just, after I got all my apps installed, I started going through them. And the next thing you know, I was stuck on TikTok for about an hour. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've been using, I just, I forgot what everything I was doing. I forgot that I was making a video. I got distracted. So I'm back. Um, my phone is, it was a, had to update. Like I said, it had to update to the latest software that it, it's running on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. And then after I did that, everything transferred over, even my watch paired over to my SE with no problem. So one thing that I noticed right off the top that I really, really like, and it's gonna be this. The, it just unlocks super quick, like boom, right into the phone. So I like that. Um, sometimes my face ID has been acting funny, and sometimes I gotta angle it certain ways to get it to unlock. It's always telling me uh, that it didn't see my face or whatnot. So no issue with this. This is to me is faster because I don't have to push. I don't have to tap and then swipe up. I'll show you with the the 13 Pro Max. I got. I I just can't swipe up. I gotta tap and then swipe up. So I don't know which one is faster to you, but to me, I have to be holding the. I have to be holding it at a certain angle for, to get it to unlock right. So it's unlocked right there. But sometimes I gotta, it just, it's finicky when it comes, I don't know what's going on with it. But yeah, so to me, I don't know which one, to me it's faster. It seems faster. Um, So I'll try it maybe. We'll do a little camera speed test here. So three, two, one. See, and then it's, it's just, I kind of messed Here's what I found. I kind of messed up there, but it's it's faster. Let me see. Let me try it again. Three, two, one. Yeah, to me, it's faster. I don't know. Let me try it. And then I got to use two hands. I got to tap and swipe. Tap and swipe. Tap and swipe. Okay. To me, it's faster. The animations are a little bit slower on this one, but the unlocking is faster. Boom. And it's easier. I could do it one-handed. It's just a more comfortable phone. This fingerprint touch ID is just amazing. You just push and, and rest your finger. So yeah, to me it's faster. Uh, Face ID, it's been finicky lately um, with unlocking it. I, I have to. I find myself doing this or bringing bringing it real close to my face because for some reason it's not it's not catching my face. So I got to bring it up close and do it. So it's it's 
it's been all over the place. I don't know if it was an update that did it or whatnot, or maybe it's the lighting that hits the, the camera behind me. The lighting hits it and doesn't let it unlock, but it's been finicky lately. Um, so yeah, as far as both of these, I haven't set up this fingerprint yet. As far as both of these over here, um, I can tell you, see there it is. So I can tell you that it's, they're set up identical. All the apps switched over exactly where I had them. Um, everything but, I noticed I got everything but um, Pandora. Pandora down here got pushed away because I got Apple Music uh, for free for three months. Because I got the, F, the iPhone SE. No, I got it free for one month and then I got a subscription. It's called Voice, some kind of voice subscription that's new that I didn't see that before. Well, I have that on this phone and it just, I do Siri to play whatever I want to play. So that's pretty neat. I, it's first month is free. And then after that, it's like $4.99 a month. I'm definitely keeping that subscription. Uh, you basically got to tell Siri to play the song you want. I don't know if it'll play albums or whatnot. I haven't really tested it. Maybe I'll come back with later videos on that. But you can see here, even though the screen is smaller, we still have the same amount and the same count of apps on here. So we got one, two, three, four, five rows of apps. One, two, three, four, five rows of apps. So everything that was on my um, iPhone 13 Pro Max is on here. Swipe over, all the apps are there. Um, same thing. It just, it did, it did an identical setup except for Pandora. Pandora was down here. Since I got Apple Music, it got pushed back, so it's up there now. But um, everything, everything is uh, the same. So basically, it's gonna feel exactly like, oh, look at that. Swipe up. I got the home button. So yeah, I'm gonna give this phone a spin. I mean, battery life. We'll see. Uh, today is not gonna count because it was downloading and installing and updating and doing all kinds of stuff in the background. So I'm gonna start fresh tomorrow. And I'm gonna record and give you guys uh, my my day in the life with the iPhone SE third generation. Yeah, this case is fire. This case is fire right here. Great color combo, and I'm happy with it. I'm definitely happy with it. Uh, it does have wireless charging. IP dust and water resistant, IP67, I believe. And it's got the 4K video recording. Um, does the front one record in 4K? No, the selfie camera only records in 1080p 30. Um, so yeah. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. iPhone SE, product red on deck and I'll catch you guys in another one. We out.